Hey YouTube, Joe here with another knife overview, or in this case I should say a uh, unboxing and first impressions of the SOG, SOGzilla, the large version. Um, got it from Mastrop, if you see, if you check uh, my, my deal alert videos, or one of my videos, I, uh, I had a deal alert for this knife. I forget what the price was, I'll put, the, I'll put it down, I think I paid around $18 for it, but I'll put the exact price in my description down below. So let's take a look at it. Let's see, a little bit around the packaging, texture, blah 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 blah, pulling knife, sucks. So now they mentioned say I've seen it mentioned that it says large, so I'm assuming they must be a small one too. I'm trying to get this in the in the camera if I can. And there is some stats, but we're gonna go over some stats. So I'm gonna go off camera. And, uh, and open this because reason being uh, I've had my issues with clam packaging I think I've mentioned it in some of my videos as a matter of fact one time I opened up to tell you a brief 20 second story I opened up a, a speaker I think I forget who it was uh, and it came in clam packaging dude I, I, I opened up the plastic I don't know I was just pulling it apart I guess like a barbarian whatever and uh, all of a sudden I'm I'm bleeding all over the place. The damn plastic cut me. I can't stand these clam packagings. But anyway, um, they do hold their purpose. I mean, you get to see the product without even having to open up a box or anything. So I guess that part of it's cool. So anyway, I'll be right back. I'm opening it up and we'll go over this knife. Okay, we're back. Uh, as usual, opening up clam pa packaging wasn't uh, as uneventful as it should be. I, did, uh, I didn't bleed, but I, as I opened it up and was pulling it apart, <laughs> Freaking knife went flying. I don't think I scratched it or messed it up at all, though. So let's, let's take a look at it really quick. Go over it some more. Uh, read off some some stats to get it out of the way. Uh, it is a the blade is an 8CR13 MOV. The blade is 13. I mean 13, yeah, 13 inch blade. It's a 3.8 inch blade. Uh, the handle is made out of Zytel. It's a back lock. The overall length is um, 8.5 inches. The weight is a not is a nice feeling 4.8 inches, uh, 4.8 ounces. God, I'm screwing up this morning. Um, the HRC rating, uh, the hardness rating is 57 to 58. Uh, it's made in China. It has steel liners. Let's see what else. Pocket clip, extremely deep pocket clip. I mean, you can't get any deeper than that. It looks like it's only uh, tip tip up carry one right side only. Did I say made it's made in China? I believe I said that. So let me see. Get my light going on in here. Now, when I first saw this. Uh, a year or two ago, a couple of things. One, just by first vision, I, I to me it looked like a poor man's uh, Spyderco Endura. Now I have a Spyderco Endura. We're going to show it again, so I'll let you determine if that's what you think. And secondly, there's a little mystery. I mean, I can't I can't find the 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 information on it. Um, the hole here. Let me make sure it stays in focus. The uh, the hole here at one time. I'm assuming it was older incarnations of this knife. Was there was a cut here, so there was like a, like a little bit of a space here, and now I see it's complete. It's uh, I mean it's not round like a spidey hole. It's uh it's, it has a slightly oval shape, but I believe it's the older versions um, had like a little cut here, or maybe they were the that's the newer versions, and this is the older version. I don't know. I was trying to find some information on that. Why they changed it? Is that another generation of this knife? I don't know, maybe I just didn't look hard enough. I, I couldn't find anything about it. But if I find any updates, I'll put it in the description. There's the SOG emblem right in there. I believe I said the handle was made out of Zytel. 
There it is in the hand. Nice grippy. Uh, let's see. Let's, let's cut something with it. Hold on one second. There's Nice and sharp. As you would expect SOG to be. One of my first loves of the SOG was the, uh, I don't know if there's a newer version of it, It's the uh, was the SOG Tomcat. I had it back in the 90's. And uh, to make a long story short, uh, I uh, had my car towed. I forget what the reason was. It was uh, maybe it was illegally parked or I don't know what it was. And then when I went to go, and I had that SOG in the car, and when I went back to go pick up the car, I mean, I know how I left my car. It, uh, I remember how, you know, in what kind of shape, you know, dirty, or cleanliness, dirtiness, whatever. And the car was all in shambles inside, like everything tore, everything all messed up, and the SOG Tomcat was gone. And I asked about it, and I'm like, oh, you know, we don't, we don't know anything about it. Yeah, of course. So, I remember that back then hundred and something dollar knife I think it was back then hundred something dollars was all, that's a lot of money back then so um, let's measure it up uh, let's see it's going against the dollar there it is against the dollar uh, uh, let's see my ruler's handy Light to cooperate. Oop, no good rulers upside down. There it is. There it is against the ruler. Alright, I'll put it against a couple of knives to show you. Now, here's one, probably one of my most unviewed videos. I don't know why. I guess people don't like this knife. This is also a SOG. This is the SLOG Slim Jim XL. I'll have the link to this in case you want to give the video some love because I don't know. I guess people not, were never into this knife. I remember when I did it, um, didn't really get many many views. So there it is against that. It's a cool knife. Very super light. Uh, what else do we do? What else do I have near me? Oh, uh, I'll use what I open up the package with. Uh, cold Steel Code 4. There you go. And since I... Oh, I did want to mention that, I, uh, that it looked like the... Uh, gave me the impression of a poor man's Endora. I happen to have one of my indoors handy and there it is against the indoor so you tell me I mean granted this is more of a oh no I was gonna say it's more of a flat grind no it's not so it's a similar grind so you tell me if that's if that's the look they were trying for I mean look the pins even line up I mean, different pocket clip. Let's put this to show because sometimes the angle I'm shooting at makes one knife look that much bigger than the other. So let's show. So, yeah, I mean, yeah, there's a lot of differences, you know, but I think that's the look they were looking for. So you tell me if you think it could it could be a poor man's Endora. So, my initial feeling, uh, like I said, I think I paid 18 or something, anywhere between 18 and 20 bucks for this. I'll look it up and put it in the description. Uh, you can't go wrong. I mean, this is a very good deal. It's a light knife. It feels good in the hand. It's very grippy. I mean, for 20 bucks, and I'm pretty sure that's what I spent. Come on, 
camera. Cooperate. You can't go wrong. Nice knife to add, you know. Add to your collection. Be a good user, good beater. There's no no blade play. The uh, as, I, as I was just shaking this knife now, the uh, the Zytel feels I don't know. They're not terrible, but ever so slightly cheap. But again, let's not forget what we're paying for this knife. So like I said before, super deep pocket clip. I mean, you can't get any deeper than that. Look at that. The centering is... The centering's a little off. Hopefully that's... That's coming in. It's, uh... From your point of, point of vantage, it's a little to the left. But it, it opens fine. See, look at the top. Back lock is strong. Very nice. Now, if this was like maybe forty dollars, fifty dollars, I'd say definitely not. You know, might as well, you might as well get a Endura. But um, as the price standpoint, the materials used, the the sharpness, the look. Definitely a cool knife to add to your collection. There it is in the hand. Feels nice in the hand. The uh, the clip is not really a hot spot either. I'd like to know why they they changed that. All right, it's not there no. A little jimping up here. I've had experience with HCR 13 MOV. It sharpens up pretty good. I mean, it's not your upper echelon steel, probably not even barely your middle echelon steel, but it, it's, it does the job. Black tinny coating. Okay. So, zoom in for the final shot. So, very nice knife. The Sogzilla. You heard of Godzilla? This is the Sogzilla. Model SOGSP23. Thanks a lot for watching. Take care, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching my video and please remember to like, share and subscribe.